I'm calling this one getting creative with the precision detail filter because the precision detail filter is very powerful and it's really good to um, cause your viewer to look at certain parts of your image or to not look at certain parts of your image. You can add detail with the precision detail filter and you can also subtract detail. So it's really cool. And I'm gonna show you some really creative ways of using it today. And I'm also linking a couple images that you can download and try this out for yourself. We're gonna use some really cool masking techniques today as well inside of Topaz Studio too. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today I'm working from Topaz Studio 2 as a uh, standalone app. And I just want to show you some really creative ways of working with precision detail uh, using glare masking and just applying this effect locally to certain parts of your image. It's a really cool and great tool to really spruce up your image and make it really come to life for you. Okay. Now this image right here, uh, and I will provide all these images for you so you can play with them. I'm just going to zoom in. This is an internet image and you can see it's really noisy. So to start off, let's just add uh, AI clear to this and see what kind of result we get here. It's in the auto setting right now. Now there's a little bit of noise right up around in here. No big deal, but let me just throw this up to high, remove noise and see what kind of result we get. And that looks better and I'm happy with that. And I'm just gonna leave the enhanced sharpness on low, but that's a really cool tool. So we have the AI clear. Now let's add the uh, precision detail filter. And let me show you some really good tips and tricks here. Now, I really like this image here, and I like the softness of the background, but what if we could make this background even softer? Now, I know we could use Mask AI to do it, but let me just show you another way we could do this here. We'll use Precision Detail, and um, let's take the, let's start out with the overall large detail. I'm just going to stay in overall here, and I'm going to pull it back a good bit here, and see how it just softens the entire image up. Now, I'm going to go a little crazy here. But bear with me, then I'm gonna to move to the medium detail and let's pull it back a little bit. I'm looking for a nice dreamy background. And even the overall small, I'll just take it back a little bit. This is kind of what the opposite of what you would use precision detail for, but not really. I mean, it could be used to remove detail as well as add detail. So sometimes you gotta think outside of the box. Now, we're gonna use some layer masking here. So what I'm gonna do is come and click on the layer mask and um, we're just gonna leave it with the reveal all here. So let's get a brush and um, make sure you're painting with black paint. And let's get a radius, a decent size radius. I'm gonna pull my softness in just a little bit. We'll leave edge wear on, but what I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this off. Now I'm gonna be a little sloppy here and it's not gonna be perfect, but you understand what I'm doing because it is a tutorial, right? And I just want you to get the idea and you want to take your time and you want to get it right when you're actually doing this. But we're just going to remove it off the girl and the horse, but just leave it on that background here. And again, I'm a little sloppy here, so, but don't worry about that and, and forgive me for that. Okay. But see that, see how we made the background nice and dreamy. Now I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and just make sure I have it off the horse's ears here and off this little bit of hair here. And I messed up here a little bit, but isn't that cool? But let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. Isn't that nice, that nice dreamy background? Now let's work by adding some detail on to certain parts of the foreground, like her hair, maybe a little bit of extra detail in the dress and some more detail on the horse. And we'll use various degrees or varying degrees of detail, but we'll do that through layer masking. For starters, we're going to need to add another precision detail filter. And just to keep things simple today, we're going to just use overall. Now you could use shadows and highlights as well, but overall is going to get the job done for me today and showing you what I'm showing you. So let's add a little bit of overall detail. Now I'm kind of looking at the horse and, and the girl's hair. Just want a little bit of overall detail, small detail, and a little bit of medium detail or actually a little bit more medium than small. And let's try some large detail here. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of large detail too. Now let's come up and get a layer mask and uh, let's get a brush tool. This time I want to invert the layer mask to take it off of everything. So click on the three dots and click invert. 
And now grab yourself a brush and let's start with the hair first. So as I just said a little bit earlier, I want to use uh, varying amounts of detail on the horse's head, her hair, and her dress. So let's start with the hair. So I'm going to take the transparency and your transparency slider here is your friend because it lets you get the various degrees of detail. Okay, so in other words, if you make it white, you're getting the full amount of detail. If you make it less white, more into the grayer tones, you're getting a little less detail. If you go into the darker shades of gray, you're getting a lot less detail. So let's give it about, let's try about like 50% and let's just paint on her hair. And I'm going to keep away from her face. And again, I'm not going to do a perfect job here because again, it's a tutorial. But see that little bit of detail? Now I could come and make the brush a little bit smaller and uh, come and just paint on her hair right here. Just like that. Okay, so that's the first phase. And now let's uh, get a little detail in her dress. Now I don't want a ton of detail in the dress, so let's maybe pull this transparency back a little bit more, a little more into the grayer side of things. Let's make our uh, radius a little bit bigger here. I'm just going to pull the softness down. I have the edge wear turned on. And now let me just paint a little bit of detail onto her dress here. You know, and I'm selectively adding this detail for artistic effect. And also remember this, things that are sharper, the viewer's eyes will be drawn to. So the areas you want your viewer to see. Those are the areas that you want to add a little bit of this local detail to. But see that? A lesser amount. And you can look at my layer mask here. See, this is a darker gray than the gray that's on her hair. Now for the horse, I want a lot of detail on the horse. So I'm going to take the transparency and bump it the whole way up to 100%. And now I'm going to paint it on the horse. Keeping away from her hand. And again, I'm being fast here. So please forgive me for that. If I was doing this, you know, as a project, I would take my time and get this right. But look at the detail on the horse now. And now what I'm going to do is take the radius and make it a little bit smaller so I can come up and paint this ear right here and this ear right here. And maybe that little bit of hair right there. But isn't that cool? So let's take a look at our before and after. So here's the before. Cool image, right? And here's the after. But we have that nice dreamy background. We have detail on our hair. A little less detail on the dress, but a lot of detail on the horse. And I think it really, really improves this image a great deal. So this is creativity through precision detail. Let's work on another image. Here's our next image. On this one, what I'd like to do is bring some detail out on this fern and also soften up the background and using precision detail. So let's add the precision detail filter. And this time what I want to do is use some uh, layer masking tricks or some masking tricks. And let's come up here and add a layer mask before we make any adjustments. And let's come to this layer mask and let's invert it. What we're going to use is a tool in here called the color range mask. So let's uh, select that. And what we need to do next is take this transparency and bump it the whole way to the right. And then take the range slider and bump it the whole way to the left. And now see this eyedropper tool here? Let's click on this yellowish fern here. So let's click on right here. And when I do, you notice it selects the fern and the fern only. So that helps us in layer masking. Now all we need to do is uh, apply this. So click apply and now come up and click on precision detail. And now let's add some small detail. Now watch, it's only going to add it to the fern. Isn't that cool? So we added some small detail. We're going to add some medium detail. And that's the overall medium detail. And we can play with the shadows and highlights, but let's just work with this for now because I'm just showing you how this can be effective. But we can work with all the different uh, variations like shadows and highlights if we wanted to as well. But right there, so let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. Now see how that layer mask has really helped us with that color range just to, to pick out that fern. And next we're going to blur the background. Let's go ahead and grab another uh, precision detail filter. And let's do that same uh, trick. 
because we have a lot of green in here, okay? So we can use the color range masking tool. So let's click on the layer mask. We won't do any adjustments yet. Come to the same three dots right here. I think I failed to tell you that was three dots last time. But this three dots right here, if you click on this, this is where you get these options to invert it, copy, clear, delete. So click on invert, it puts a black hide all layer mask. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Let's get the color range mask. Let's take our transparency the whole way to the right. Take the range the whole way to the left. And now with our eyedropper tool, let's click on like a green color in here like this. And see how that isolates everything out. And then if you need to tweak it a little bit, you can uh, work with the color range here a little bit. See that how I can get a little more in there. But you can tweak it up a little bit. You can move the hue and the... Um, you can move the hue and the range a little bit and get it just right, but I think that's gonna work right there. Let's just go ahead and click apply. And now let's come to the precision detail layer right here. And again, we're just gonna work with the overall here. So let's take our uh, large detail, overall large detail pull it to the left and see how it just isolates that green background. It doesn't affect the fern. It doesn't affect the, the hand here, which is nice, or the arm. Really, really, really cool. And now let's go with the overall medium detail. Let's pull it back some. And let's take the overall small detail back a little bit. But isn't that cool? Let's look at the before and after. Here's the before. Cool image and here's the after. But I think it looks a lot more dreamier. Uh, I think it's a, it's a big improvement in my humble opinion. Well, there it is. Getting creative with the uh, precision detail filter inside of Topaz Studio 2. Now, remember, you can use it to add detail, but you can also use it to remove detail. And it's very powerful when you combine that with masking tools and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.